हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन डीएसए ऑन एरे टुडे सो हियर व्हाट इज अ प्रॉब्लम हियर सपोज वी आर गिवन एन एरे ए आर आर ऑफ साइज एन एंड हियर वी हैव टू आउटपुट द सम ऑफ ईच सब एरे व्हाट एवर आर द डिफरेंट सब एरे वी हैव टू फाइंड द आउटपुट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सब एरे व्हिच इज देयर इन द गिवन एरे नाउ सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल we have the input array is 1 2 and 2 we have three elements in the array 1 2 and 2 and now we want to give the output the output here is 1 3 5 2 4 2 4 so now how it is going on suppose if you have to find all the sub arrays now what is the sub array here sub array is something which is continuous set of all the elements in the main array if it is not continuous then it is not considered as a sub array so now here suppose we have this elements so here what are the different sub arrays first if we start from the first element so first element is 1 here so from 1 we have one sub array is only one which has no other element then the next one will be 1 and 2 then we have 1 2 and 2 okay then done with starting with the first index now start with the second index we have 2 here now this 2 is the first to okay then again we will have 2 and 2 and then starting from the last one we have only 2 here so here we have all total six sub arrays we cannot consider one and this 2 here it has to be continuous if we take one and this 2 they are not continuous so it has we need something which is continuous so now if we find the sum so here we have one here we have three here we have five here we have 2 4 and here we have 2 again so 1 3 5 2 4 2 that is what going on so now to solve this problem we cannot take each and every sub arrays we don't have to find everything every time what we have to do we just have to consider all the elements just start with the first one okay start with the first one the first one we have one display one next Take the next element as two. The result here is three. So display three. After displaying three, next one we have two. So display there is five. Then one, three, and five has been displayed here. Now start from the second index. From the second index, we have here the number as two. So first we have two. Display two. Next one again we have a two. So two plus two. It is equal to now four. This is how it is actually going to work. so now if we see here first what are we doing we are taking the size of the array then whatever be the size we are asking we are asking the user to enter all the different values of the array and here uh, we are declaring a array of that size n then take all the inputs after taking the inputs start from the index 0 the first index of the array and go till the last okay and then inside every nested loop inside this what we have to do sum we have to by default consider as zero so take the sum take a sum variable by uh, just initialize it as every time as zero and every time we have to start from that current whatever be the value i at first iteration we were starting from one second iteration of this second for loop we have to start from two in the third iteration we have to start there from the second two so now here that is the reason why we have written here is int j equal to i j less than n and then j plus plus this is how it is actually going to work sum plus equal to arr of j and whatever comes as sum just print it out now let's execute the program and let's see how it works suppose here if i give the size let's say Uh, let's suppose let's give a larger number. Before we had three. I'm giving here the size as four. Now after giving the size as four, now it's time for the values. So let's say if I give here the values as one, two, three, and four here. Enter. So now just see. First, if we have to find the values here, just for one we have one. One plus two becomes three. One. Plus two plus three becomes six. Then one two three plus four comes at ten. 
then we have 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 2, 3, 4, comes here as 9, then 3 comes here, 3 plus 4, 7, and at last we have 4 here, so 4 comes here as the result. So this is it, how we can find the sum of each subarray in a given array. So that's it, now if you have any doubts, I would refer to watch the video again, still if you have any doubts, then please do give us a comment in the comment section, we will definitely get back to you, and if you have liked the video, please press the like button, because this gives us some motivation to make new videos every time, and do subscribe to our channel, so that it gives you a notification whenever we upload a new video. So thank you very much, keep learning.